everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to a what I'm liking and not so much Wednesday. So if you guys would like to stick around, see what I'm liking and maybe not liking, keep on watching. Things I wanted to put out there first of all and let you guys know, like update you on something. And I also wanted to say to a wonderful woman here in the mature beauty community i wanted to send my condolences uh if most most students probably do already know because mary ellen after 60 put a video up and it is our colleen miss cavalier 01 had suddenly lost her husband uh unexpectedly over the weekend i know i speak for many of us when I heard this news, I was, you know, uh, shocked and my heart just, my heart just dropped. I see a lot of you guys here on YouTube and, you know, you really get to know people, you see their face all the time, they bring you into their journey and life and, you know, share things with you and you really do get to know them in a sense just heartbroken because Colleen I have known for very long she actually was in that first group of people in the mature community that I really got to know and came and joined me and watched my videos and I watched hers and I've known her for a very long time and I just can't even imagine you know I just cannot even imagine what she's going through what her family's even going through Colleen I just want you to know I love you very much and I am praying for you and your family. I hope the big Lord above gives you some, that strength that I know you guys are going to need in the next upcoming events. And I know I speak for a lot of us that we so wish that, you know, like we could be there and just give you that hug and just give you the, like that extra comfort. Just know that I love you. And I will be thinking of you. The next thing I have uh, is the update on my son-in-law, uh, who was in a car accident. And, but he's coming along pretty good. Uh, his neck, he has a neck brace on that will come off in April. He basically has a fracture in his neck. So it didn't quite get broken, I guess. There was a fracture, but they had to put the neck brace on. His foot is got, was what got the worst of it, though. And... He's going to have to go through therapy, physical therapy. I kind of figured that because of uh, the break basically went in it, went like into his foot, like wedged in and with his toe and everything. And he has a rod in there that they're going to be taking out. The concern was his uh, healing process. So they're going to keep an eye on out because if it doesn't heal properly, there might be more surgery ahead. So let's go and get into the products here. Hair care. So I don't have really many hair care products here, but the two I do have, I have mentioned on one of my videos before, and I am really liking them. And I just like to mention them because, especially since they do so well, if I repeat them, you know it has to be pretty good products if I'm repeating them. The Tresemme Keratin Smooth um, Infusing Smoothing Serum. This product here, I really, really like. It is a wonderful, wonderful serum. I like the scent in it. As you can see, it has the Allure symbol on there. It was from 2013, I believe. It was like the best of. And I'm actually really liking this much better than the L'Oreal oil infused stuff I had. I'm trying to think what it was called now. I'm having that brain fart, you know, the brain fart that we have. I can't think of it. Anyway, this is taken over the L'Oreal one for sure. And I would continue to purchase it. What I'm liking about this, and if you are somebody, I would highly recommend if you're somebody that has frizzes um, and you just want that extra shine and healthy look to your hair, this, this is really good one. I really like this. I put it on after my hair is um, shampooed and everything, and it's still kind of damp and wet. You can put it in when it's still dry. And that, so I, I do really like this this stuff here. The next product, and I only have like a little small one because it came in a uh, my order when I ordered from Nick Chavez, 
and the shampoo and conditioner that I got from him. And this is his Angel Wings Super Light Hairspray. Now I was telling Cindy about this because she was talking about different hairsprays one day. And I absolutely love this hairspray. I really do. It's it has a wonderful scent, but it is a light hairspray. It doesn't leave your hair sticky and tacky or anything. It's just a really nice hairspray. So I am going to get the full size of this once this one starts running out, which it's getting there. I've been using it a lot. And I haven't used hairspray in a very long time, so that says a lot too. A body spray. I pulled this out from Bath & Body Works, and it's the Tahiti Island Dream. Now, I don't know if they'll make this anymore, if it's still going to exist in this spring and summer, but that's why I pulled it out because like we're, you know, spring has come and yay, I love my spring and summer. I am a spring and summer gal, so this, it makes me happy. This scent here has that scent of spring and summer, so I pulled it out and started using it and I really like it. So actually, as you can see, I don't go through these so quickly or fast because look where it's at. I mean, seriously. But oh my goodness, it just has a wonderful scent. I love this one. Okay, skincare items. Um, one, okay, this one here I have shared before, and it's the Pure Argon Milk. Not sure how well my lighting will share and show that, but this is the Pure Argon Milk from Josie Marin. And I really love this product. I put it on, sometimes I have put it on during the daytime, mostly at night I will do it. But it is for intense hydrating treatment and boy does it ever give extra hydrating um, to your skin and I love this stuff. This would be a repurchase. I do enjoy her regular argon uh, oil but yeah that will be a repurchase. Now this product here I just recently got and it is uh, from the Zoe Skin Health uh, from Zenabaji which I know I've been talking constantly about this brand, but I really have been enjoying the brand, so there is a reason for it. And this was sent to me because I did ask for a couple other products that I see and that I would like to try and test out and everything. And the reason why I got this one, it's called the Immerse Renewal Cream Anti-Aging Formula. And it is another one of those ones where you push out and pump out the cream up on top there. And this is for the daytime. It was the one that it said you could mix it with that retinol that I got from them. I just recently got that retinol that I shared in my, uh, I think it was one of, one of my last, what I'm liking and not so much. And it says to mix with that and, you know, kind of put them together. And it gives you something, a little extra, a little extra boost or something. So I thought I would go ahead and try this product out. And I am really liking it. It is, it is a nice, light moisturizer but it's very velvety I noticed that it's like a very smooth and velvety feeling to the moisturizer when you're putting it on so yeah so I thought I'd give it a mention I pulled this primer out the Garnier five second blur I've been using this up a good bit I have several primers here I need to really work in and use up so that's what I'm trying to do as I have some new primers and I'm trying to go through some of the primers I have had. So I'm, I'm like playing around with all these different primers. And I have to say I really like the five second blur from Garnier. This has been different times for many compared to Mally Beauty's uh, Poreless Perfect Primer. And it does have the same look. It does have the same feel, the consistency and everything. So I would say this is very close I don't know if I'd say an exact dupe, but it is close to being a dupe. So if you've ever wondered what Mally's Poreless Perfecting Primer is like, and you've tried this one, it's very close. Okay, so here is a product that I'm not liking. I haven't had a not like for a while. Um, I got one of the Maybelline eyeshadows, the single eyeshadows, and I heard people saying that they did do, they did reformulate their eyeshadows or something. I do have one of their eyeshadow palettes. I think it's the nudes or blush nudes or whatever it's called. And it's not bad. It's an okay palette. But I did grab the single one because somebody had mentioned they liked them or they thought they were good and everything. I don't even remember who it was. And I do have one that's in, it was the, it was the famous taupe shade. There was a taupe shade that Maybelline had out. And I don't remember the name of it because I haven't used it for a while. 
Isn't that terrible? And uh, I don't remember. And it, it does have pretty good pigmentation. This is called Gold School. And it's a beautiful gold color. Now, you probably already can see the powder in there from it. So swatching it, you can see right there, it looks really nice. Now I almost had to use my finger. I actually had this on one of my other videos just recently. So now there it is with one swatch. Do you see it? That's one swatch. I mean, you faintly see it. It's faintly there. And get another swatchy. <laughs> swatchy. Okay, now that one you might see. Can you see? All right, right there you can see it. But it's like faint. Barely, barely even there. And then it kicks up so much on top of it all. And then the other thing with this is it's like there's glitter, glitter particles in it that ended up below here after a while at some point. I did take my finger and try to pat, you know, how some people do. So how I had to make it pop a little bit more, I was using a Maybelline one that was gold color and I'd put it on as a base, then was putting this on. So in one of my videos, you might see I have like some kind of golden color to my eyes, but it's and it's it's this with that, but it was a pain in the butt. With I know sometimes when you swatch something, that doesn't always mean that the eyeshadow is not going to work. Because sometimes you can swatch something, and the color might really not show too well. But then after you put it on with on your eyes or something, you know, it might work. And no, and there is I can see now even like a lot of the glitter and stuff. I mean, I wanted it because I love gold. I thought, oh, that's going to be gorgeous. But yeah, it, it just did not pan out at all. Another product I'm using, and I actually used it with my little, I, I these did come with, this is the Pure Cosmetics Cameo Contour. And I was sent this uh, a while back ago from Pure Cosmetics. And the one side is, and they have like a guard here, like kind of thing. One side is a contour part stick. The other side is more of a like they say highlighter I kind of consider it kind of highlighting concealing um, stick or something like that it is really nice they are very creamy really nice and I do really like these these are really nice for a quick hurry up and they, there is a sponge that comes in theirs in their box I have um, I do have mine here I don't know where it's at though I do have mine here somewhere but I couldn't find it and I was in a pinch and I'm trying I wanted to get this video up so I used my little uh, eco tools remember the little one that I have that came with my big foundation so yeah I used that with it and it worked out pretty well I actually used this for a couple different things because then the other thing I worked with this and somebody asked me in one of my videos what foundation I was wearing and what color one of my subscribers was asking me. I was actually wearing Mali Ultimate Performance Professional Foundation and it's in Fair. I think I told them light but it's in Fair actually. And it's her creamy foundation. It came in one of her compacts. It's like a nice cream foundation. And I really like this one a lot. I'm not sure if she still has this. I'll have to look again, like as I do with some of her products, because she is coming out with new items and everything. And I'm not sure if she's getting rid of some of her older products that she used to have. I'll have to look. This was one I've used a couple different times. This is probably my second one I've gone through, actually, because I had one before and gone through it pretty well. There was still maybe a little bit left, but I've gone through it mostly. And this is my second one I have. And I like it for those days where I, I it's a light touch up. I'll actually do a get ready with me and I'll share this of what I do with this kind of foundation or any cream foundation. But I was using my little spongy thingy, dabbing in there and just, yeah getting getting it on and everything so this is what I've been wearing lately for the last couple times for my foundation so okay so speaking of Mally here's another product my effortless airbrush this is her highlight there's pretty in pink and then the pure light highlight so the one side is her pink blush and the other one is a highlight now these I know definitely you can get 
in Alta still and anywhere else because these were talked about a good bit on YouTube a while back ago with her highlight, which her, that highlight is insane. Can you see that? That is insane highlight right there. Really, really pretty. And then the blush is a pink color blush. So there's her blush right there. So there they are. Very pigmented. Really nice. Really, really nice. Last couple products I have here. I really have been enjoying the L'Oreal Voluminous. Uh, this, this is the original, but the uh, Voluminous mascara from the drugstore. It is a really, really good drugstore mascara. I would have to highly agree with a lot of people that I hear when they talk a lot about this and, and say it's their favorite. I don't have a, I'd say my favorite yet. Uh, possibly could be. It might get in there because that is what I'm putting on my eyes a lot lately and I really do like this. So if you're on a budget in a pinch or something, this is a really, really good mascara. I mean, the wand is just a basic wand. It's nothing too real fancy or anything like that, but it's, it's really nice. And then lips. I have used this a couple of different times. I forgot. I forgot. It's a little mini lipstick of the Bite Beauty. I have had this uh, for a while. I think this, this one's in pepper in the shade pepper and it's a really pretty neutrally brown shade. So I was wearing it just not long ago and it's, it's really pretty. I like it. I haven't gotten the full size of any Bite Beauty, but I do have some small ones. So I would get that in a full size and I would get some more. Now this lip liner is from Makeup Forever and it's pretty small, but they gave us a little small one like this in the one box I got that was a Sephora favorite and it was like a summer thing. I don't know, but it was this small anyway. So I haven't really gone this down this far using it, but I do love this one. And I think they go by numbers. Yeah, 3C, so I guess 3 cool. But this is a perfect shade for me. It actually would probably go with that lipstick. Yeah, it would. <laughs> Didn't even plan it that way, but yeah. So there, you know, right there it is. And I love this lip liner. And I am somebody that hates to spend a little more higher price for a lip liner or eyeliner. But in this case, I don't know. I'm starting to think, because I know some people even say Makeup Forever's eyeliners are really good too. So might cross that border at some point. All right, beauties, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you did like this video and found it helpful or anything like that, please give me a thumbs up and that would very much be appreciated. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can go ahead and join me each week. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and do not forget to hit the bell right next to it because the bell will notify you and let you know when my videos are uploaded and that way you can stick around with me and you know see what I'm liking maybe not liking and then my other videos that I share so and as always beauties please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time you take care I will see you then love you guys bye Mwah.